Okay, this video is going to talk about the income elasticity of demand. And so the equation for the income elasticity of demand is percent change in quantity over percent change in income. So we want to see how sensitive the quantity demanded is to a change in income. And you calculate the elasticity the same way you would the uh, price elasticity of demand except you have income in the denominator now instead of price. The key thing to remember here is what the value means. So if you end up getting an income elasticity of demand between 0 and 1, we consider that a normal good because as your income rises you consume more of the good. If the income elasticity of demand is negative or below zero, it's an inferior good. And it's an inferior good because as your income rises, you actually consume less of the good. Therefore, we classify it as inferior. And depending on the class, if you have a value greater than one, you might call that a luxury good meaning that as your income rises, you actually consume a greater proportion in terms of a percent increase of that good relative to the percent increase in income. So a luxury good might be name brand items or going on vacations, things like that. You can actually substitute away from consuming those normal and inferior goods and spend it more on a luxury lifestyle. So remember, if your income goes up and you consume a little bit more of the good, it's normal. That's how we would expect most goods to behave. If your income goes up and, the, and you consume less of the good, meaning the elasticity is negative, it's inferior. You don't like that good. As you get more money, you're going to buy less of it. And if the income elasticity of demand is greater than one, it's a luxury good. This also means that as your income declines, you consume a larger percentage less of that luxury good because you have to substitute away from it to consume those normal and inferior goods when your income decreases.